This is just one of theirs. And you can see here, this, this is some of the themes, like really heavy brushstroke work, sort of almost like an impending storm kind of front right now, dealing with a lot of the elements. So not, not a lot of images of, you know, green fields and bright sunny days, not a lot of really like pastoral imagery, um, a lot of sort of like storms and, and other things like that. This is one of the images of Tom Thompson and his sort of uh, lone man in the wilderness and canoe. And a lot of this imagery has also sort of come into the Canadian psyche. Okay. So I wanted to skip ahead to one Canadian painter, uh, Peter Doig, who's sort of done a lot of work around that sort of imagery in a much more contemporary sense. And these are large paintings that he's done. He's actually worked in out of London for a long time, but he is Canadian, he's, and he's taught in BC as well. So this is a contemporary painter who's still working today. He's been painting for quite a long time, has quite a long career, but I just wanted to show you some more sort of like contemporary and more permanent. And a big thing is that they take a lot longer to dry. So can anyone tell me something that might be um, helpful about that in terms of that they take a lot longer to dry in terms of painting? Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, so they, they do take a lot longer to dry, which can be, you know, kind of frustrating and wanting things to hurry up. But if you are creating a larger work or a work that has a lot of layers or a lot of mixing to it, a lot of artists really, really enjoy that, how you can just continue to work with them and add color to them and to always go back and fix things. And it does. It takes a long time for them to dry. Especially if you're not adding anything at all to your oil paint, you can have some amounts of paint that never really do fully dry. I mean, it can look like it's hardened and it can be, you know, seem like it's dry, but it takes a really long time for it to fully sort of solidify. And you'll start to see how much different it is, how much richer it is, perhaps, um, how it has a really different sort of odor to it, and just the intensity of the color of it. And so you'll be able to get just a little bit of an idea. Also, I work a lot with the cooks and watercolor on my own in my Oh, great. Home. I've never really done oil painting. Okay. Yeah. You've done some acrylic painting. Yeah, cook and watercolor. So I do like a lot of that, but I've never done oil painting. I know because my art class didn't have oil painting. Okay. that acrylics aren't as widely used. And, and to be quite honest, I would say that 
you know, 80 to 90 percent of artists that I work with professionally do use acrylic paints, and there's so many amazing things that you can do with acrylic paints and things that you can add to them. But a lot of artists, um, contemporary artists, do work still work with oils, and some work with both. And it's really nice to just be able to know the difference and the quality of the of one versus the other, and then you can decide what you want to work with.